Hi Option 1, thanks for tuning in. So we are here because you are single and you want to know if you're going to meet someone soon. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on that question. And we're going to ask the Angel Answers card cards and see what they say and then clarify with the tarot. Angel Spirits and Guides for those who have tuned in for Option 1. Will they meet somebody soon? Will they meet a romantic partner soon? Is someone coming into the love life? For those who have chosen option one, will they meet someone soon? If you believe, okay. So it's not a no, it's not a yes, it's in between. It's saying you have the power to manifest somebody into your love life. So if you're very negative or you think that, you know, it's not going to happen for you, then you're right. If you think it can happen for you, if you feel like you're on the cusp of meeting someone soon, you know, you will, you will um, meet somebody soon. It's all, you know, like the card says, if you believe you can have what you desire, but you have to believe in it. So you have to stay positive. You have to visualize the outcome that you're hoping for. If you're feeling negative, I'm getting somebody needs to forgive someone. You're in a, somebody out there is in a state of unforgiveness regarding a romantic partner or a past romantic partner or someone else in their life. Um, you need to focus on forgiving that person. But in general, you need to set aside negativity or pessimism pessimism, and have a brighter outlook here because then the law of attraction can give you what you receive, all right? At least give you signs and signposts on how to get what you want in your love life. So check your perceptions, um, you know, believe that you deserve great things, um, say affirmations, do what you need to do to create what you want in your life, to create belief within yourself that you can have this. And then you're going, you're going to have that happiness that you're seeking, you know. And if you fall into doubt, and if you don't believe in yourself or your self-worth, you know, then what you get in your life is going to match th that, that feeling. So you need to believe in yourself, have self-worth, and you will attract what you deserve. So please believe in yourself, okay, is what this card is saying. Believe that you deserve to have your dreams come true. Believe that you deserve to meet somebody new. That you deserve to have a wonderful new partner. Now we're looking at tarot. For those who have chosen option one spirit, will they meet somebody new? We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Will option one meet somebody soon, somebody new soon? Okay. Well, some idea about your love life is not valid with that. Um, with that ace of swords okay because that's a card about new opportunity so a new opportunity in love may be being blocked here and I saw that there was a need for somebody out there to forgive past romantic experiences or someone in order to move forward there's a need to believe in yourself and have self-worth and believe in your dreams to manifest and attract what you want because like attracts like if you don't believe you can have someone soon or that it's just not m meant for you somehow then that is what you're going to get so there's a real need here to reflect on whatever ideas that you're holding in your mind's eye about your ability to attract somebody new um, could be some of you are hung up on someone else you know subconsciously or consciously I figure you probably know if there's someone out there that you need to forgive or somebody that you secretly deep down hope will return so whatever the case is it's going to vary depending on person just take the messages that resonate and forget the ones that that don't resonate with you but there is a need to refocus your intention here 
because um, this card could be saying that your ideas about how this is going to happen and or, and or your ideas about um, what you deserve in love and what you can attract are probably not valid, okay? You need to get clear in your own mind um, before you go ahead with trying to attract somebody. So it could be just you defining and refining in your mind what traits you're looking for in a partner, you know, what kind of a relationship you want, journaling about that, focusing and visualiz visualizing on that, just getting really clear about it because there's some lack of clarity. With the Swords card in reverse, Swords are supposed to be about clarity, but your clarity is blocked here. Um, if you are trying to negotiate with someone to um, have them in your life, if there is someone you're interested in, you know, that might not be working out or it's being delayed. Could be that you have a history of unclear communication between you and love partners or misunderstandings and I feel like you know at present you're still attracting more of the same of that so you need to be careful um, some of you have like a cool or detached attitude towards relationships but yet there's a part of you that does want to meet someone new which is the reason why you clicked on this video you're kind of curious you, you want to be convinced that you can meet somebody new that it's going to happen for you and you want to be sort of convinced like why you should even be, entertain the idea of someone new right some of you that resonates for um, but for others of you you know you've experienced detachment in love and Again, probably have had relationships where communications or arguments occurred um, quite a lot, okay? Miscommunications and arguments I'm seeing there. It's your relationships and love life has required a lot of work. Um, and a lot of work that made you feel like you were a hamster on a treadmill working really hard, putting in effort and not getting anywhere. Could be you attract people who are, I'm getting false twin flames, are false soulmates. Um, those are just labels, but what they stand for is an energy of thinking that something is more than it is, and that has disillusioned you. Um, that's either in the past or the present that you've experienced that. But if you don't get clear on what you truly want and what you truly deserve, you could also attract it again in the future. So um, you want somebody, I feel, that um, is similar enough in you to you in their way of thinking, their ideals, their ideas, and um, that that is a compatible relationship. And for some of you, you're you're wanting um, you guys to be on the same page spiritually as well. So, you know, you might not necessarily need to hold exactly the same spiritual beliefs or be of the same religion, but I feel like um, you do want a soulmate or a soul connection and a partner. And you might have put in a lot of work on relationships, you know, up till now because you have thought that that person was the right person. Then you found out that you were misguided in that. So now you're looking for somebody new. And um, I feel like going forward, you know, on the track that you're currently on, it is um, a bit of emotional burnout or romantic burnout here because of obstacles, confusion or delay that has prevented you from really getting the success that you the success that you want in your love life. So some of you are inexperienced in love and perhaps need to get back out there more and casually date more and kind of practice as practice makes perfect, not only in every other area of life, but in your love life as well. Some of you might have been unwilling to do that, but perhaps have put in a lot of work on the relationships that you have had and or a lot of work on yourself, but still aren't getting the results that you want. Um, could it be that you have been affected by work or money problems or are being affected by those right now and that's wearing you down and that's making you be less inclined to search for love as well or less receptive to the love that might be trying to peek its head into your life because you're focused on you know other problems that are wearing you down and I feel you know also that you could be really bored and in a connection if if you have your eyes set on someone and nothing's happening your affections going away for that person um, or you're becoming bored with that situation or you're finding out that, you know, your emotions for another another person, romantic person, romantic partner um, aren't as strong as they used to be or um, artists aren't as strong as you thought they would be. I'm getting that, you know, going forward in the future here, there could be an earth sign energy. Regardless of sign, this person could be grounded, stable and more masculine regardless of gender with this king of pentacles in the upright. So it can indicate, um, you know, someone coming into your life who is, you know, materially successful, practical, pragma pragmatic, you know, stable, strong, and perhaps a pillar of the community, good at business or has the potential to be. I'm feeling like um, this is somebody that um, represents common sense and security and is a leader in their own right. Um, 
somebody that, however, is very, very practical. I mean, if this is your boss or your father, this is somebody that you can depend on. You know, if not, then this is just, um, if it's not a boss or father, then it's just somebody that you can depend on, okay, um, in a practical, worldly sense. So I feel, you know, even if you don't know anybody like that, um, and even if for those that it doesn't apply that you will be meeting someone like that, at the very least, this card is saying a mature and stable relationship is what you're, what you're desiring, and I already see that, you know. Um, you do not want to be misled. You don't want there to be um, instability. You want the opposite of that. You want stability, and that is represented by this King of Pentacles. A relationship where you guys support each other equally, and sometimes it can mean that um, it's a relationship based on security and status and money more than anything. Um, maybe you've had some um, people in your past who were really not very well off financially and you had to work really hard to keep that relationship afloat or you were paying for things when you shouldn't have been or something like that for those of you that that resonates and it won't be everybody you're really wanting sort of the opposite type person now somebody that can not only hold their own financially make the same amount as you do but maybe maybe even more okay and you know we've got this two of coins here lots of pentacles energy that's capricorn virgo and taurus if i didn't say you know, going a little bit further into it, um, I feel that if you meet this person, this person's presence in your life could be overwhelming. Okay, so whoever this King of Pentacles represents in your future here, it could be that, you know, the two of you have trouble getting together because your, your work um, schedules don't match up or you have difficulty balancing work and home life could be you more than them I feel like they're more stable if this is representing a person because you're in the reverse eight of pentacles energy regarding your love life which talks about you know um, feeling overwhelmed feeling like you're putting in a lot of effort but not really getting what you want so I see that you know going forward at present uncertainty again due to work or money concerns or um, interference like that in your in your love life even after potentially meeting somebody who could give you some of the stability that you want I'm getting a feeling of restlessness here um, and perhaps you know one of you is shouldering more of the responsibility in the connection so there is a need for balance with this card as well it might not be the most fun exciting relationship for some of you but it depends on what you're looking for I get there is stress though in this connection going forward due to money concerns and an imbalance of some kind maybe you don't make as much money as the person you're attracting and that puts stress on the connection and or just again that you're having difficulty um, balancing your personal life and time spent with a romantic partner with your home life and other responsibilities that you have So let's get a Romance Angels card on this just for overall clarity and guidance for option one regarding their future um, romantic partner. For those who have chosen option one. We've got the reconciliation card someone from your past is returning to your life so some of you will be reconciling with somebody from this life from your past in this life and some of you will be reconciling with a soulmate from a previous life somebody that you haven't met yet so you always have free will if you don't want to reconcile with anybody from your ex really uh, from your past like an ex then release them um, we've got ironically release your ex at the bottom of the deck okay so that is absolutely why I said that evidently because some of you need to and will be releasing an ex in order to reconcile with somebody a soulmate from a past life because at the beginning of the reading I said that you might have mistaken someone for a spiritual connection and learned that you were wrong about that person a false soulmate perhaps some of you dealt with if that's the case you're releasing that person you're guided to release that person and forgive that person like I said in the beginning there's forgiveness needed and um, this will allow you to have someone in your life that is more suited to you okay um, so if you know I feel like those of you watching this will know um, how this applies to you so if there's somebody in your life that you want to come back you know you're gonna think of that person first thing as soon as you saw the reconciliation card your heart would have leapt and you would have been like yay it's such and such but for others of you you would have been like no then I mean that will tell you 
um, how you really feel and uh, and how you should take this reading so if you don't want somebody back then this is somebody coming back that um, from a past life so that you guys can achieve healing and so you can achieve closure and um, and continue you know some lessons and some work that you started in a past life that you need to do together anybody coming back from your past in this life there's a strong need for closure and healing you know that's the main reason they would come back okay it's not necessarily saying they would stay forever um, I'm not seeing anything to indicate that they won't stay I'm just saying that the main reason anybody would come back to your life from this life is for healing and closure whereas for the rest of you this past life person is coming in to continue lessons that you learned and started in the past in your in a previous incarnation um, I feel like it'll t allow you to you know take responsibility for some role that you played in a past life some sort of drama <laughs> that happened in the past um, and this will help you to it'll help to free you from a tyranny of unforgiveness so even the person that's coming to you from a past life um, they could be coming back so that you can forgive them for something that you that they did to you in that past life some some sort of issue that you have and it could be a very deep-seated issue that you're not aware of but they're coming in will help you to become more aware of that bring it to the surface so that you can resolve it it's about finishing unfinished business and um, making peace some of you this could even be talking about a family member or a friend but since this is a love reading I'm applying it more to love relationships but take it how it resonates it is learning experience and um, a reunion will bring blessings and lessons and you know all healings will help your love life regardless of what form they take it will have a ripple effect through all areas of your life and into the greater into the larger world as well that are, is positive and will have a positive effect on your love life okay so let's see we see here some instability um, I'm going to get an advice card because um, there's some unequal give and take going forward in your love life here. So angel spirits and guides, what advice do you have for those who have chosen option one regarding their love life? You know, how to get it going um, in a more balanced way and general advice to get the um, stable loving relationship that is that is reciprocal and equal how can they get that what advice do you have wanted to come out but then changed its mind <clears throat> spirit what advice do you have for option one about this reading we've got the king of cups so some of you need to forgive more than one person here some of you need to forgive an earth sign energy a water sign energy and even um, an air sign energy so astrologically speaking water sign is Scorpio Cancer Pisces air sign is um, Aquarius Libra Gemini these people would have these traits regardless of their sign okay and so I'm seeing perhaps you have somebody from your past in this life that you need to forgive someone from a past life who's coming in that you need to forgive and a father figure that you need to forgive okay and if not forgive um, they have some impact on your present situation your present love life and the way that things are going in the present but in terms of this card coming out as a as advice I feel that it's talking about you know you allowing yourself to be in your power and, and growing your emotional maturity okay this is about cultivating yourself, cultivating your interest in the things that you like. If you're a creative person, which this king represents a creative person, then you need to find ways to express that creativity, um, to express yourself creatively, to engage in um, the arts or any sort of hobby or activity, but do it in a creative way, using creative thinking, perhaps engaging in creative writing, however that applies to you. For some of you, you play uh, music, um, whether you play instruments or you listen to favorite types of music music is healing I don't know why that's coming through this is about being a warm like warm emotionally with yourself and others and it's also about protecting yourself okay 
Um, it's not saying to be closed down. It is saying, you know, have your heart open. This king has his heart open, but he protects himself. He protects those around him as well. And this is because he's a such sensitive, he is such a sensitive person. I feel like, um, you know, regardless of who you are and what your personality type is, romance itself, you know, triggers an emotional reaction or response within us, right? It makes us feel strong emotions. So there is a need for you to balance those strong emotions because if you are to manifest what you're wanting here, which is a stable partnership and a commitment and one that is equal in the give and take department, one where you don't argue or have misunderstandings, where the, one where you are more on the same page spiritually or just mentally, okay, then you need to um, attract from a place that reflects that and so it starts with you so definitely focus on balancing your strong emotions not getting swept up and carried away um, not seeing situations through rose-colored glasses you know um, not falling on or making out the same mistakes like you did in the past because some of you are inexperienced in love even if you've lived a long time, perhaps your relationships have been shallow or if not shallow, they just didn't go very far or there's some area in which you need to improve emotionally speaking. So maybe pick up a self-help book on emotional intelligence, watch School of Life on YouTube. They have great um, videos on emotional intelligence as well as advice on all life areas. There's a plug for them. I don't get anything for that. So there you go. Good channel. Um, because I feel like you really do want to be loved and admired and sometimes that makes you put up with stuff with stuff that you really shouldn't have to put up with and as a result of that I feel like you know you have been hurt and you have a tendency to hold a grudge um, and so there that's where that forgiveness comes in you know so forgive whoever you need to forgive in order to attract better into your life here and um, you know if you are somebody who enables others if you are very indulgent or controlling in any way this is all in stemming from fear of loss and fear of emotional loss in particular so going forward in your connections to have more stability in your connections and to attract a partner into your life who's worthy of you you need to you know check that tendency within you to enable them to take advantage of you in any way even in, in the smallest way right especially when you guys are just starting out. You teach people how to treat you, so treat them to respect you and your boundaries. Um, treat them to value the things that you do share with them and not just expect it. Um, be a little less indulgent with yourself uh, and with the people that you care about. It means you can still give to them, but give to them you know, from a full cup, not from an empty cup. And um, be less controlling with, with your relationships too, if that applies to you. Um, this is not only talking about, you know, relationships with a romantic partner, but family mem members, friends, kids, you know, um, be a little bit more, um, less micromanagey, I'm getting. Uh, because that, you know, will allow you the, the space to come up with creative solutions to problems. Okay. But I feel like, um, if you do this, if you follow this advice, it's, it's very likely that you can attract someone who will give you a deeply emotional, romantic, and committed relationship. There could be issues around, you know, trust and openness. There could be issues around possessiveness or jealousy. However, um, and if you know that's the case, if you've attracted partners like that in the past, then you want to watch out for those red flags if you don't want to attract a partner like that again. And if that is a tendency that you have within yourself, then you need to make a conscious effort to work on that, okay? But um, either way, it, it does bode well for a loving relationship. The, the cups is a, um, a card <laughs> that talks about emotions, right? And this king is in the upright, which talks about positive emotions. And um, he's a king, so he talks about commitment. And he talks about romance. So let's get another. Before I do that, I think I'll get you a love oracle. And then I'm going to take it over to Vimeo where I'm going to look at the time frame for when you will attract this person into your life. A likely time frame as well as pull some tea leaf oracle cards to get some character traits for this person as well as pull some archetype cards to get personality traits for this person. So if you want to follow me over to Vimeo, I'd appreciate it. If not, that's cool. 
But if you do, the links are in the description box below. So for option two, let's get a love oracle talking about um, this next person they're attracting in or anything else Spirit wants to tell them. Regarding their quest for meeting someone soon. We've got love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay? So this next person that's coming into your life, they're going to be um, attracted to you. They're going to be accumulation of your making healthier choices. You're following this advice that I gave you regarding um, the King of Cups. And as a result of that, the self-love, the self-care, and just being happier in your own life, you're going to attract someone who is not going to have a problem expressing their love. Somebody that is going to leave you message of love, messages of love, who is going to tell you that they're thinking about you. They are going to show you that they care. And so it's, it's very um, lucky and speaks of good fortune in your love life and attracting someone who is emotionally mature, like that King of Cups says. For some of you th that think that you already know this person, then perhaps this person is going to call you and express their love. So take it how it resonates. And now we'll get one more card here from Healing with the Fairies. I think in a previous video I called them something else. This is the Healing with the Fairies deck. I've had this deck for like 20 years. Very seasoned, very seasoned deck. I like it a lot. Option Option one, self-reliance. So what was I saying about attracting love requires you to make healthy choices. Your ability to attract the romantic partner that you seek is based on your ability to love yourself and take care of yourself. So if you're wanting to manifest someone who is emotionally mature, expresses their love, who brings stability to the table, if you're wanting to reconcile with a soulmate from a past life or one from this life, you know, you need to do some, some inner work here around forgiveness. Um and around perhaps any tendency to be possessive, indulgent, or controlling, or jealous. And this starts with uh, overcoming fears and um, some issues that you have within yourself. And how do you know what those issues are? You look into yourself. And you do that through self, self-awareness. And so rely on yourself because you can provide for yourself the things that you think that you need a partner to give you. And um, I'm going to get you an affirmation about that here. So this card means that um, you are your own best friend, okay? And you know that you can provide for yourself emotionally and physically. I mean, maybe you've been struggling. Maybe you're um, not doing so well with your money right now. Maybe you're experiencing lack of work, lack of money, as many people are at present. You, you feel um, unstable with regard to how your life is going and where it's going. But you're your own best friend, this card says. You can provide for yourself physically and emotionally. And as I was speaking about fear, fear being the issue here, for those this is resonating with, this is what you need to overcome. This card says sometimes we feel frightened and we want to get reassurance from another person that everything is going to be all right. But the self-reliance card says that, you know, you're, you're reassured that everything you need is provided to you and that you can rely on yourself and your own spiritual gifts to manifest what you need in your life. So even if it's taking longer than you would want it to, um, it's coming to you. And although your manifestations could be coming through other people, it's originating with your own thoughts. So it's just validating what I just said about attracting someone begins with you. You're a reflection of, of what you're getting in your love life. So you want to be, um, you want to create a point of attraction within yourself that is worthy of what you want to see in your love life here. Because it's coming from spirit, your, your manifestations are coming from spirit, but they're coming through other people. Could be, in some instances, and will be with regards to this love, love, love person, love person that's coming into your life, okay? So filter out any negativity that may sway you from listening to your inner voice. And don't let naysayers um, talk you out of fulfilling whatever dreams you have. And don't, don't ever for an instant believe that you are not deserving or qualified to get what you want and to have achievements in your life. And so with focused intention and divinely guided action, your dreams will become a reality. So this, um, 
the affirmation that goes with this card is, I am tuned in to my inner source of direction. I confidently rely upon this inner source to guide me perfectly. So you can write that down, add it to your affirmations that you do every morning. I always recommend affirmations for everyone, as I do find that they have a positive effect on your life. And that's what I have for you, option one. So again, if you want to follow me over to Vimeo, please do so. If this is where we part ways, thank you for tuning in. I hope that was helpful. And I will talk to you next time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the like button if you liked it. You can dislike it if you didn't like it. Uh, either way gives me traction. Um, and if you didn't like it, perhaps this wasn't the right reading for you. So maybe find uh, another uh, reading, another reader, or choose another option. Thanks again. Welcome option two. So are you going to meet somebody new? Let's see. I'm going to start with the Angel Answers deck. And sometimes we can get a straight up yes or no answer. But regardless, we're going to... Um, Clarify using tarot. So angels, spirits, and guides for those who have tuned in for option two. Are they going to meet somebody new soon? Are they going to have a new love soon, a new romantic partner? Will option two meet somebody new soon? says ask for help from others okay so it's not a no <laughs> it's just saying that perhaps you would benefit from asking for help from others I'm trying to decide to choose another card um, no I think we're good with that one I feel like um, it's possible you know that others could help you to meet someone so you know maybe letting your friends know that you're open to dating again open to meeting somebody new um, perhaps uh, some of you can afford one of those expensive <laughs> matchmaking services I know uh, a couple of people that that worked for of course it's not for everybody but it, I think you know just basically maybe get some guidance from those who know you well on like what you should be what type of person you should be looking for and or just even let them know you want to get out more you know when when everybody can get out more you can get out more and go on little adventures outings um, do things that put you in the presence of others could possibly be a way that you could um, you could meet someone so I feel like there you know for this card to come out more than likely you guys have people in your life who'd be willing to help you or who know people that might be interested in you or know of someone who you might hit it off with right friends of a friend something along those lines it would increase your chances for success and help you to move your plans forward to meet someone new if you were to just sort of express to you know to someone or more than one persons that um, you're open to meeting and dating people and it could be just you get some information from someone, you know, regarding the dating scene or somebody that becomes newly available, um, something along those lines. Some of you, you know, have acquaintances who know people that you've been involved with either in the past or who you have expressed interest in the, pa in, in the past who um, perhaps are asking about you, but you're not going to know that unless you, you know, have these sorts of conversations and open up open up about your readiness to meet someone new so I feel like um, it could be very stressful for some of you getting out there in the dating scene again it feels like you know you're going on an interview and nobody likes to go on an interview right but that's what it feels like when you're meeting somebody new especially like if it's a blind date or somebody that you absolutely don't know um, so perhaps you'd feel more comfortable getting out there if you were dating somebody that was recommended to you from somebody that you do know so you have some sort of an idea of what you're getting yourself into but regardless you know if you've got people who love you friends or family um, it would be a good idea to spend time with with them and it'll help you feel better about about entering the dating scene and give you that support you know after you do go on a date and if it's a bad date or something like that you know it's good to have people in your corner to help support you through it so I'm going to look at the tarot now.
angels, spirits, and guides for those who have chosen option two. Will they meet, be meeting somebody soon? Will they be meeting a, a romantic partner? A new romantic partner soon? We've got uh, Queen of Pentacles. Kind of came out on its side. So it's kind of an iffy energy. We've got the... Um, King of Swords in reverse. And we've got the Tower in reverse. So, I feel like you are looking, but I feel like some of you have put in the effort into some other area of your life, whether that be work or family or a parent or a child because this is a card of a parent or a child with the Queen of Pentacles. She's also holding that coin, that gold coin which represents money. She's holding that like her baby, right? So maybe if you guys have really invested a lot in something, some endeavor, some project, some work project perhaps, or just some relationship that you're waiting for, you know, the ships to come in with that. And you're holding that close to your heart. So some of you might not be ready to meet someone new because you're still holding on to somebody else. Um, so take that if that resonates, you know, don't if it doesn't. I feel like you're devoted to some goal, though. Um, I feel like you're, you have put in the effort and, you know, you might be coming out of a period of being this queen of pentacles in reverse where you were experiencing money troubles, where you perhaps were engaging in some bad habits of some kind, and now you're like cleaning up your act. And so you're just barely getting to a place where you're stable enough to um, want to get back out there and be a vibrational match to somebody who is, um, you know, equally in the upright energy, right? So I definitely get that um, you're thinking about commitment. You know, you want something serious, not a fling. You're thinking about, you know, a partner with whom you can get engaged and eventually married. Um... And you want someone, I feel, that um, you can express, you know, your passion and your feelings for, which is understandable. However, I feel like I said, you're just barely coming into the sort of energy of knowing your worth. This is a card about worth, right? Literal worth with that, uh, you know, pentacle and, um, you know, worth in terms of self-esteem, personal worth with that queen, and I feel, you know, there could be a perfect match out there for you, a soulmate out there for you. So, um, I feel, you know, you, with this card, I feel like you have, like I said, you, you're coming out of some sort of negative energy. You're, um, take, being, taking a more proactive approach, um, and you're focused on, you know, focus on your pentacles, focus on your child if you have a child or some some other project, but um, you're ready to have something secure, something mature, something sincere. I feel like you're ready to have, you know, a, a connection, not only just with, you know, family or work, but somebody with whom you can be intimate and experience, you know, the comforts of a good life with, you know. And I'm getting, you know, with this, uh, king of swords in reverse you might have somebody around you or you might have recently dealt with somebody who is a bit of a narcissist or had narcissistic tendencies this is that king of swords can talk about being in narcissistic energy this is someone that's not communicating with you this is not a nice person somebody that's in you know kind of a mean spirit so if it's a person this is um a narrow-minded person somebody perhaps that is judgmental some of you might have been married to this person, are getting a divorce from this person, or are involved with them contractually or legally in some way. Perhaps, you know, this is a landlord for some of you. Um, but take it how it resonates. If you've dealt with a difficult situation with someone who lacked compassion towards you, or was, you know, indecisive, someone you couldn't let your guard down around, and, um, Whoever this is, whether this is a person or a situation, I feel like 
you're receiving justice in the situation. Like, there is not going to be an imbalance anymore here. There is an ending to what was, and I feel like if this hasn't happened yet, it will happen with that tower card. I'm seeing red flags. I'm seeing regarding this person, if it's a person, perhaps an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, if it's a person, you know, this is coming to an end. Okay. This person, um, you know, if it isn't a person, it could be talking about, you know, dealing with people that have no principles, perhaps regarding, you know, your money, or um, again, it could be talking about ups and downs in a legal situation, um, a lack of clarity, a lack of honesty, um, perhaps a mean boss, somebody who's demanding, demanding or mean co-workers, so take it how it resonates. I'm getting some sort of a shady situation or organization that um, has affected you, but you're putting an end to that with that, with that tower card. And the tower card is in reverse, so it says, like, this ending has been trying to come in, I feel. But maybe you've put effort into something, and you haven't wanted it to to end because you haven't wanted to give up on it. Something along those lines. But unfortunately, with that tower, I feel like, you know, refusing to change old habits and things like that, to try to stick something out is not a good idea and I feel like it's just going to continue to create difficulties for you. And so on a deep level, you have been preparing yourself for a change that must eventually take place. And your inner self already knows this. So if this is a relationship, a bad relationship, you're setting yourself free from that. I feel like that's why you came out on your side. This is earth sign energy. If you know, Regardless of your sign, this is the energy that you're in. Coming from, you know, perhaps the bad habit of allowing... The bad habit of allowing, um, you know, a negative or unjust situation in your life for perhaps low self-esteem reasons or just lack of motivation to rid yourself of the situation or because you put an effort in the situation, you wanted to wait and to see if it would pay off. But now you're turning that around and knowing your worth. So if you're still resisting changes, they're going to be thrust upon you. You're guided to go with the flow here. And... Um, things will go much more smoothly for you. Some of you might have dealt with, um, you know, a married person with whom you had an affair, and then that fell apart. Um, could, could have been that you were with someone and in a commitment or a marriage, and they cheated on you and had an affair on you. So take it how it resonates. Reading for lots of different people. So not every part will resonate, but some of it might. So... Don't ignore any warning signs going forward. You need to deal with the aftermath of a situation. Clear the debris so that you can um, have someone new in your life. So oh, let's see. So I'm not seeing anybody soon coming in. I think there's still work that needs to be done here. I think there's still, um, perhaps some of you are needing to clear away the debris or get rid of somebody. <laughs> get rid of them. It's a funny way of putting it. But, you know, uh, continue working on yourself, focusing on yourself, reclaiming your power, and, you know, maybe starting as friends in, your, in relationships or dealing with your friends more often, being around people who are nicer to you than this King of Swords energy and this tower in reverse energy and um you know start there and then you know gradually branch out after you're done healing from whatever this energy is so what is the advice for option two what is the advice for option two please regarding um meeting a new love what is their advice It's for those of you dealing in a third party situation with someone, you know, um, you don't want to deal with that person anymore is what that card is saying. No more unequal give and take in your relationships going forward. You want to turn that six of pentacles right side up to where it is equal give and take and generosity and good fortune for you. I feel like some of you um, 
have experienced bad karma in the form of inequality. Again, I'm getting like this Libra or justice energy where um, the justice card is in reverse talking about, you know, well, inequality and perhaps you'd like legal, legal troubles. Again, that's coming through. And so in order to meet somebody new, you need to get your, your affairs in order here, whether that be successfully dealing with finan finances or financial dealings, um, unreliable colleagues, because we saw perhaps some of you are dealing with difficult people, for those of you who are still working, or you know that this is something that you have dealt with in the past, um, s some difficulty in the workplace, um, some sort of project, or something that didn't materialize like you'd hoped, like a relationship that didn't materialize like you hoped could have been some strings attached to a situation that ultimately ended up choking you. So the reverse six is saying, you know, to it's saying not to rely on other people's support financially or otherwise. So while you're being urged to ask for help from others regarding your love life, again, this would be um, in an equal give and take sort of way. These would be people who are your friends, you know, um, people you have a reasonable amount of um, trust in and um, people with, you know, that, you know, won't take advantage of your goodwill. And, you know, you're being guided also not to take advantage of anybody else's goodwill. This card can talk about that. So that's going to resonate for somebody. But for most of you, I feel that this is advice about continuing to be in your upright queen energy knowing your worth and taking care of yourself and doing what's necessary to get your house in order, your money in order, order and keep it that way. You know, indulging yourself, perhaps taking yourself out on dates, um, buying yourself nice things, make the, doing the things and indulging in the things that um, make you feel good about yourself and not overindulging, but just loving yourself, taking care of yourself. Continue doing that. I see that you are doing that, so keep it up. And when, you know, you can practice receiving equal give and take in your connections and in your future romantic relationships by practicing on your friends and family. Um, it, you know, people who tend to give too much in romantic relationships often also tend to give too much in other types of relationships, you know, um, colleague relationships or family and friends relationships. So practice on them. Um focusing on equal give and take and supporting and encouraging each other equally okay practice on them asserting your boundaries so what is the future if option two follows the advice spirit what is the future if option two follows the advice We've got the Five of Wands and the uh, Page of Cups in reverse. So it could be a little bit of a conflict with people around you once you start asserting your boundaries. People who are used to taking advantage of you are not going to like it when you start standing up for yourself, even if you do it in a non-confrontational or subtle way. And this is also a warning perhaps that when you implement this advice of requiring equal give and take in your connections, that you don't do it in a confrontational way, okay? Because you can see that these people are battling. And it's it's petty ego battles. It's not major stuff. So I feel like, you know, this is going to be occurring for some of you where you might be um, experiencing resistance from those around you at, if you start you know, relying on your old, your own good sense and relying more on yourself and not listening to others' opinions as much. And kind of, once you take that blindfold off and free yourself from any restrictions and continue going forth in that uh, Queen of Pentacles ener energy, regardless of what gender you are, your Queen of Pentacles energy, um, 
there could be some a little bit of conflict but the thing about number five is that it represents change and it's it's good change it's change for the better here um, so I, I don't feel like this is a bad thing at all I feel like um, this is helping to bring some things to the surface that you need to deal with to help you to assess your romantic situation more objectively in a way that allows you to sort of test your mettle and test your um, relationship skills again like I said practicing on friends and family um, relationships even romantic ones especially romantic ones aren't always really really smooth and um, really easy there's resistance in them and often our egos are tri triggered in those so this is good practice and preparation for you dealing with um, you know your friends and family and any resistance or uh, petty ego struggles they, that they engage you in as a result of you um, requiring equal give and take in your connection practice for when you get into a partnership I don't feel like it's anything you know major here again just petty conflicts um, just you know learn to control your ego learn to stand up for yourself without um, becoming you know too egotistical or without being too stubborn that sort of a thing it's about um, learning to compromise and make necessary changes and learning to deal with people who have different perspectives than you in a way that doesn't cause a problem okay and some of you might be dealing with um, um, a child because we saw that Queen of Pentacles holding the Pentacles around or towards her belly so that kind of it's round symbolic of pregnancy could be dealing with with a child um, and a bratty child at that uh, could be a water sign water sign child but doesn't have to be or a younger person um, if not in age in, in energy and so this could be one of the people that you're practicing <laughs> your um, your conflict resolution skills on I guess you could say this page of this page of cups Okay, because this page of cups um, it, in the upright is a sweet is a sweet kid basically, um, and it can represent communication and affectionate communication at that. But going forward, you know, as you go through this this preparation for your next relationship, you could be dealing with someone, or um, you could be dealing with family members. I'm getting for a lot of you who. Um, are uh, are unhappy with these positive changes that you're making for yourself right um, this could cause you to feel insecure this could test your ability to trust I feel um, it could even make you feel like um, maybe you're not ready to seek love after all because you don't want to you want to avoid having to deal with conflicts in relationships you just kind of want things to go smoothly and that's understandable but I feel like it's going to be worth it in the end for you to learn these conflict resolution skills learn how to express yourself and you know another scenario I'm getting is that this is a person that you're dealing with that you're um, going to be dealing with and they are someone who is a bit insecure fears rejection um, is intuitive but withdraws into a fantasy world that kind of a person like I said sort of a young person a sensitive energy someone who's afraid someone who is a, afraid of rejection and um, who may feel unaccepted or unloved in, or unloved and I feel like even if it's a family member and not you I feel like it's a reflection of certain parts of you that exist that you need to deal with and come to terms with um, in order to attract in order to attract your partner okay this is about healing you know early childhood issues as well perhaps you attract a particular type of partner who triggers feelings of heartbreak and betrayal due to you know your childhood if it happened in your childhood and if your family still has a, a a negative influence on you in this way you know by resolving and healing that those family issues it helps you to attract a better partner going forward in the future and also helps you to prevent you from fantasizing that romantic flings or um, yeah 
that a romantic fling is something more serious than it actually is. Some of you have, have done that in the past. So if you follow the advice of standing up for yourself, continuing to require equal give and take in relationships, um, knowing your worth, then, you know, it gets more challenging before it gets better. But I feel like it's to, to do with, um, healing those wounds, those inner, inner child wounds as well. And for some of you, it is, um, not only you who will be learning from that experience, but perhaps a younger person as well, or someone with a younger energy. So let's get a Romance Angels card for overall clarity and guidance on this reading. Angels card for option two. What do the Romance Angels want to say? What guidance do the Romance Angels have to say to option two regarding this reading, please? We've got Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I feel like some of you are getting away from it all. I feel that this is leaving, you know, rocky waters behind. This is sort of the Six of Swords energy for me right now leaving rocky waters behind in order to go somewhere where you can heal and where you can get ready to be with with a new partner ready to get yourself back out there get out on the dating scene some of you might do this by taking a trip as soon as you can you know go on a on a vacation I feel that you'll be going on a vacation and so I feel like this is gonna lift your mood and help you as well could be that you're meeting somebody on, on a trip and or going on a trip with somebody in the future that will be like a honeymoon but I do see that this is there's a need for you to nurture yourself and um, you know and by doing so you will ultimately end up you know on your honeymoon so yeah I definitely get that some of you will be meeting somebody on on a vacation though as part of your self-care um, routine that you're you're getting into and that you're maintaining going forward let's get another one what else do the romance angels want to say to option two what's the romance angels want to say to option two Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So this is for somebody who is dealing with sort of a negative energy, um, like I described at the start. Could be this air sign king in reverse energy, but I feel like there is a need to let go of something that you may have been re resisting letting go of. Because again, I feel like whatever this is talking about, you put in the effort, so you've been sort of watching and waiting for some sort of payoff or payback for that. So whatever the case is, you need to just let yourself let that go, and. and allow yourself to get away from it all whether you can take a physical vacation or not um, do something nice for you that makes you feel like you're escaping from your problems you know not not in an avoidant type way but in a way that really makes you feel free because you are free you have free will to do with your life as you wish and so some of you are feeling trapped some of you have given your control to someone else um, maybe you're feeling, you know, smothered by your your work or your relationships. Um, if not with a romantic partner or an ex partner, then with um, your family members, or your friends, your colleagues. You know, like I said before. So, whatever it is, you need to ask yourself: In what ways do I feel um, restrained? And and trust the answers that you that you get. Okay because um, this card is here to tell you that you know your guides are here for you they know that you want great love they, they know that you want to experience passion but first you must let yourself feel you know your deep emotions and so if you've been trying to avoid feeling those emotions maybe that's the resistance for some of you uh, emotions perhaps around not feeling good enough or that if you do assert you know your 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 power 
or your worth that it will create problems and conflicts and that will make you feel vulnerable and it will make you feel like you can't express yourself you know all of this is 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 fear and you shouldn't give your your power to it okay allow yourself to feel your deep emotions cuz by doing that um you can come up against areas of your life where you feel unhappy and and that will help to inform you on what you really want and what type of partner you really want going forward so um you don't have to you know, do anything in particular just acknowledge these areas that bring you discontent for yourself so you can bring light on the situation and and that will help you to make better decisions going forward and help you to take back control of your life and will also open your heart to possibilities and to partners and um, reawaken your spirit perhaps even give you some enthusiasm for getting back back out there in the dating scene so you definitely um, are on the path to experiencing greater love for yourself and um, you do this by accepting both the light and the dark about yourself but first you need to allow yourself to feel those deep feelings and then you'll be able to have something to share with um, an upcoming partner okay so I'm going to take this over to Vimeo and we're going to look a little bit further into this I'm going to see if I can get a time frame for when you can attract a new partner and I'm gonna pull an archetype card and some tea leaf cards to see if we can get some character traits about your upcoming partner okay and so, yeah, if you'd like to follow me over there, the link to Vimeo is in the description box below. And if this is where we part ways, thank you so much for, t for tuning in and for supporting my channel. And if you'd like a personal reading, um, instructions on how to get one are in the description box below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing as it does support my channel. And, you know, hit the like button if you liked it. Um... If, if it didn't resonate, you can hit the down button either way. It um, supports my channel as it gives the video traction. And if this did, re did resonate, then let me know in the comment section down below if you like. I'll talk to you next time. Welcome option three. So welcome to your singles. Will you meet someone soon reading? So I'm going to start off like I did with options one and two and that is to use the angel answers card to see if we can get a quick answer to the question and then we'll use a tarot to clarify okay angel spirits and guides for those who have chosen option three will they meet someone soon somebody coming into their their life romantically soon they're going to meet someone For those who have chosen option three, will they meet someone soon? Romantically speaking. Ooh, good answer. Yes. Nice. Congratulations. You will meet somebody soon. So let's um, get some tarot cards here to clarify that message. It's a positive message. Off to a positive start. Angel Spirits and Guides for option three. Give us clarification on the question, will they meet someone soon? We've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. We've got the Nine of Pentacles upright, air sign energy, earth sign energy. We've got okay, yeah. We've got the uh, Strength card in reverse. That is Leo energy. So I feel soon is subjective. Okay, could be up to a year from now for some of you, which some of you don't think that. You know, a year from now is necessarily soon, but I'm I'm getting that, and I feel like that has to do with getting over a past hurt, getting over some sort of betrayal, and realizing you know 
that um, well coming into your power coming into your your single um, your single power with that nine of Pentacles so there is a female on on the card but um, that's not necessarily for a female that could represent anybody it's more about the energy of moving away from some heartbreak moving away from some some ending and um, embracing your abundance and your well-being in being for yourself the person that you seek because some of you right now I feel are having difficulty letting go of something or at the very least uh, are having difficulty or experiencing unwillingness unwillingness to take the steps that'll move you to a better place so whether that's talking about a better home better workplace or um, a better love relationship there's some resistance here so it could be somebody is deceiving themselves or somebody is stalling due to fear but you know this card is saying that you know delaying only makes things worse in the long run so if you're making excuses to stay where you're at wherever whatever that means for you you need to choose a new course of action okay in order to meet someone new so um, you know it could be talking about you know financial losses or feeling insecure about your future in terms of your workplace I mean that's understandable at this time in history um, but there is a need for you to not let the past prevent you from embracing new opportunities um, if you're still stinging from some sort of disappointment in love or betrayal or deception you know it's important that you see the situation clearly now because at the very least if something's ended now at least you can see it clearly know where you stand and experience a new sense of freedom and I feel that you will most definitely do that because we've got the nine of pentacles here some of you are already in this energy of experiencing abundance material well-being security success and comfort Comfort. So this is a lovely card here, um, talking about you know achieving goals, feeling secure, secure, and working hard. You know, using your skills to accomplish a lot of things, uh, to to accomplish much, and to be proud of that. So you'll be in a period where you feel proud of yourself, feel in your single power. Um, you will be independent here or you are independent and you have created a life for yourself you know much more close to what you what you really desire than what you were previously involved in and so I feel like if you're not already enjoying success in your life you're enjoying it now and this is very good foundation to build um, a, a relationship a new relationship on you know um, some of you are thinking that you're, you're you've really got it good you know some of you feeling very comfortable and secure um, it's almost like why would you even want to meet anybody else at this time you're doing so well um, but you know you're here so you, you do want to see about your, your romantic future and your prospects going forward and it could be that you're wanting a relationship that allows you to keep your freedom while um, allowing you also to have you know financial abundance um, or just stability and security in a relationship because you don't really need a partner or you're going to become someone who doesn't really need a partner so any relationship that you're in is going to have to allow you to continue to be in your power and experience and enjoy your freedom okay so you're kind of wanting the best of both worlds and that's kind of where you're at in this empowered energy here so I feel like going forward with the strength card you know that does talk about a, a potential partnership sort of making you feel you know making you feel w weak we all get weak in the knees when we like someone right you could be meeting a Leo um, but it doesn't have to be it's talking about the energy so I feel like there is an inner struggle for you going forward because you are in your your single um, power with that nine of pentacles and you do sort of want to be a part of a couple but in an independent way you don't want your freedoms impinged upon but at the same time you want a companion you want love so there's a little bit of an inner struggle because of that um some of you already know this and some of you don't know it it's like something deep down inside of you you might create resistance or feel resistance when you meet someone and you can't pinpoint why because you're like this is a good person I like this person why am I feeling resistance it's because of your independence and wanting to keep you know a good degree of that and I feel like as a result of that some of you might be letting you know your 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 animal nature your instincts get the better of you 
more like um, you're ignoring your instincts and letting your emotions get the better of you in a relationship going forward here in a connection when you meet someone this next person that you're gonna meet they could be having these traits somebody that ignores their instincts and and is um, emotional to the point of they're letting their emotions sort of run them as opposed to listening to logic so it could be an illogical person that you're gonna deal with or they're making you feel a bit illogical you know and I get that you know the antidote antidote to that is to realize that you can't force anything to happen you have to be patient with yourself and with this person if they're the ones acting this way because that's that's going to get you more of what you want so um there's going to be a need for you to set your ego aside and to be part of a partnership you know it does require compromise so i get that some of you are going to be afraid to show your true feelings you could, you could be putting up a tough facade because you are so used to being on your own you might not even remember or know how to um use your feel uh, like show your feelings or be vulnerable to someone again but you will be being vulnerable with someone I just get that you know that could put a delay on the connection um, and make it slow to really get going because of you know the sort of inner resistance that you're experiencing about giving up your freedom um, so if you're thinking well I am ready to give up my freedom blah 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 this might not be the right reading for you so feel free to choose another option reading reading or reader come back to my channel another day but you know if you're drawn here likely there's a message here for you so um, just know that you know be true to yourself okay um, you want somebody that you can show your feelings to and if not then they might not be the right person for you I think that this is like when you first meet them you know you're resistant to showing your feelings because you're in the habit of not having to do that so just if you want to be happy with the next person that you meet this combination of cards is saying there's going to be a desire and a need on your part to lower your defenses and put your ego aside open your heart to make the relationship work so this again could be talking about somebody that you're dealing with going forward so what advice does spirit have for option three? Ah, just be sweet. Just, you know, let yourself be vulnerable like children. Children show their emotions. Children say their thoughts. They're uninhibited. Um, if they want to give you flowers, they give you flowers, right? And so it's saying that this next person that you attract could be making you feel like you did when you were a kid you're going to be feeling like you're a kid again with that six of cups so it's a very sweet energy so your advice here is to sort of channel that energy of like your early days when you were first um dating when you when you had your first love and all of this you know let that be sort of your approach to the connection um, experience emotional renewal get back in touch with that sweet gentle emotional side of yourself you know um, this will bring you more harmony and happiness in a connection going forward you know especially a after a time of unhappiness um, you're going to be you know be willing to share your joy with others with your person that you're going to be meeting um, don't be afraid to give of yourself and don't be afraid to receive from that person the good things that they have to offer as well because um, you know it's the actions that you take to express your caring and your love to people that you um, that make a relationship worthwhile so yeah this is how you overcome problems by and, and keep the the relationship flowing in a positive direction continuously renewing positive feelings for one another um, through allowing yourself to be innocent allowing yourself to express your contentment allowing yourself to see the beauty in the connection and um, some of you are going to be reminded of, of happier days you know from the distant past it's gonna feel like perhaps like like you did when you had your first love something along those lines it's gonna be like um, teaching you uh, how to love again almost you know after again after a painful experience it's a renewal of feelings it's a renewal of life it's in a reawakening of your heart and um, a reawakening of yourself to to romance so it's really beautiful 
So this is the advice that you're given here. Wow, lovely. So if you follow the advice, um, you're going to end up marrying the next person that you're with. They could be a higher level soulmate, like a twin flame, as this is the twin flame card. It could mean, at the very least, living together and having a passionate, stable, committed relationship. One where you feel at home and at peace with one another. Um, so by following this advice, yeah, just allowing yourself to to love with the with the faith in the innocence of a child um, you are opening yourself to a future where you can experience this coming together with someone who is going to you know be a dream come true basically you know you're going to reap the rewards of all the effort that you put in uh, to yourself into becoming um, this independent person into becoming someone who loves themselves into the effort that you put into healing from past disappointments deceptions or betrayals um, allowing yourself to you know face that part of you that wants to hold your feelings back or that wants to be coming from more of a place of ego when dealing with the love partner by putting that in check and allowing yourself to renew your heart and open it up again to the possibilities that that love brings to you you are re reaping the rewards of that in a way that's going to feel very much like a celebration between you and your and between you and, and your next person so it's a, it's saying that everything is working out well for you here um, this is about, you know, having prosperity. It's even about having financial stability, you know. It's about pleasure and pleasure in the relationship and having a happy home life. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be very comfortable for you guys. You're going to really enjoy each other's company. You're going to feel like, um, you know, you're the shelter in the storm. You you guys create a home and a space with each other that feels like a shelter from the rest of the world. It is your refuge. It's a safe place to go, and it's a safe place to rest your head at night. Um, I'm just trying to describe to you the, the meaning and the feeling behind this card. You know, you're um, going to be showing the world who you really are. So this is someone with whom you can let your guards down, someone with whom you can, you know, show your heart and be your true self with and this is going to allow you to achieve you know things that are really great things that you wouldn't be able to achieve otherwise um, such as things that that get you recognition not only from your person but from everybody um, it could like I said suggest prosperity financially um, perhaps one of you is selling a property in order to purchase a new property to move in together um, and you will benefit, you know, financially from that. It also talks about having positive influence on your, your work life so that you're experiencing more stability, harmony, and success in your work and experiencing more satisfaction at your job because your home life is good and it's thriving and it's happy and it's stable, then you are able to um, be more inspired in the workplace. That happiness from home carries over into your job. So this is really a very fulfilling card that talks about um, having, you know, the relationship having far-reaching effects on all areas of your life in a positive way. So um, I feel like, you know, deep down inside, you know that this is the kind of life that you're meant to have. That this is the kind of love that you're meant to attract. So while you're feeling wonderful and in your, you know, single power and you're looking and being lovely in this nine of pentacles energy as a single um, you know deep down inside that this is the ideal setup for you this is the ideal relationship for you this is the kind of relationship that someone who loves themselves is attracting so good work good job on that that's wonderful keep keep doing that and um, you will find you will find love the person you're attracting is going to bring contentment and peace into your life. It is going to be an easy relationship in many respects. And you're going to have a comfortable and happy home with this person. Provided you follow the advice. 
So I am going to do for you what I did for the others and get Romance Angels. Angel Spirits and Guides, for those who have chosen option three, can we get a Romance Angels card describing their their relationship or giving us further clarification or guidance on you know who they're going to next be with and will they meet someone soon guidance does the Romance Angels have for option three regarding, regarding their um, regarding this reading we've got the retreat card it's time to disconnect from the world world so this is again just validating that four of wands because the four of wands is a card of refuge it's a card of two people being at home with each other and um, taking refuge and in, in finding safety and comfort with one another so you guys are going to be doing that and you are marrying this person for a lot of you this is resonating with congratulations we've got two cards that indicate marriage the romance angels card um, of honeymoon um, actually this is a retreat but it shows a couple on a honeymoon right it shows them walking off in the woods together her in a wedding gown him in a tux and then we've got you here um, in the four of wands which can talk about a wedding as well wedding celebrations you know all manners of celebrations so you will be disconnecting from the world with your person this is someone that you can you know enjoy quiet um, moments with like not every moment that you're with this person do you guys need to be talking or doing something you really just enjoy comfortable silences with one another um, and in this way your love your love life blossoms and even though you know some of you might like to spend time alone again with that single energy you're used to spending time on your own um, where did she go yeah used to spending time on your own regardless of gender you're someone who is cool with your independence you will still be able to be independent in this partnership um, so that's one of the beautiful things is like having your cake and eating it too um, being in your single power but doing it with someone and we saw that that was you know earlier I mentioned that that might be what some of you are looking for you know you want an easy relationship one that um, is stable and um, and is is loving but also gives you your space and allows you you know room to breathe and this is what you're gonna have with this person even if you guys are always together you're gonna want to be together because of the connection and um, because of how well that you get along and um, you know if ever the world becomes confusing or you know <clears throat> other people put their two cents in to your guys's relationship or you know at work you know there's conflicts or anything you know life happens around the relationship but again you're going to be the the port in the storm you're going to be um, a soft place to fall for one another and you'll be able to retreat and take your time to recover from the world and recharge your batteries while um, also enjoying each other's company and so I feel like you know by doing this you also renew your commitment to one another and it helps it to take it to the next level knowing that you know nobody wants somebody well I shouldn't say nobody but if you think about it it's not always good to be with somebody that is high maintenance you know that you're always having to perform for do for that you guys are constantly needing to talk or interact in order to feel like everything's okay in the connection it's good to be with somebody for the long term that you can just be at home with and feel a sense of peace with and that you don't really have to do much with and just know that everything is good and that nothing is wrong just because you're being quiet or withdrawn doesn't mean that anything is wrong and you guys understand that about that about each other so it's like spending spending time together but apart and um, again this could be take mean taking vacations you guys 
and taking a honeymoon vacation after your wedding um, and also it talks about you know getting away you know once a week maybe going on a hike or a long drive or going to a hotel room where you leave your um, your cell phones at home so that you can just retreat together in a way that's rejuvenating for you both taking or staying home and just having a quiet afternoon at home so I feel like this is um, a deep commitment that's coming in for you option three congratulations it's gonna be a serious relationship um, even even if you don't see it coming this is a new serious relationship coming in and um, it's you're more than likely going to end in engagement and wedding and um, you know everything that you guys do even if you're not interacting like I said it's gonna be more meaningful because you're spending time alone together so you know continue spending time by yourself here as well like obviously unless you know your love partner is not going to break into your house to, to introduce themselves to you, right? So you're going to be getting needing to get out and put yourself out there enough to be able to meet people. But, you know, it's good also to continue to enjoy yourself in, in your quiet time, you know, alone and at home, because this is what you're going to be doing. This is the type of person you're attracting and like attracts like. So, you know, don't, if you like to spend time alone, if you like to meditate, if you like to journal, if you're someone who likes to be in a quiet space in order to know and experience your true feelings and thoughts, um, continue doing that because those are the moments where you um, get the insights that you need to know what actions to take to um, be intuitively guided towards this person and them towards you. It strengthens your energy and it helps you to attract and manifest this loving partner. All right, option three. I am going to take this over to Vimeo where we're going to try to get a time frame for when you're going to meet this person. And I'm also going to pull archetype cards. And I meant to pull tea leaf tarot, but I didn't pull the tea leaf last time. So I'll pull some tea leaf tarot for you um, to try to get some traits and characteristics for this person. So if you'd like to follow me over there, please do. The link is in the description box below as are instructions to get a personal reading if you'd like a personal reading and if you liked the video hit the like button um, subscribe if you haven't already please consider subscribing as it supports the channel and thank you to those of you who have purchased personal readings and for your energy exchange donations especially via those of you who have purchased me um, Divi divination tools from my Amazon wish list. The wish list is down below, and I will talk to you next time.